Hi guys, Melvin here and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I edit this portrait right here. So before we start, please make sure to subscribe on this YouTube channel for future editing tutorials, uh, photo shoot ideas, photography blogs, and other behind the scenes shoots and everything. So yeah. So just some quick info about this image. It was shot using my Fujifilm X-T30 with uh, Viltrox 85mm 1.8 lens and this is in RAW format. So kung makikita nyo, naka-open siya is sa camera raw filter ng Photoshop. And by the way, I'm using Adobe Photoshop CC 2020 and I think this one is the latest version of the Photoshop right now if I'm not mistaken. So what we're gonna be doing here is to make some basic adjustments here into the basic panel. So we can correct the exposure, the white balance, the contrast highlight shadows and everything. So kung mangyayari dito is ito yung magiging basis natin for uh, before natin siyang buksan sa Photoshop. So the first thing that we need to do here is to decrease the exposure and then for the contrast uh, we need to go down for about negative 40 para mabumpy natin yung konting details dito sa face niya. And then for the highlights we need to go all the way down to negative 100. So, mabawi natin din yung mga details here on the background sa mga flowers. And then for the shadows, we need to bump up the shadows. And also for the whites, taasan din natin. And for the blacks, babaan naman natin siya ng konti lang. Ayan. So, the next step here is to bump up the clarity. So, for the clarity, siguro a little bit of adjustment lang since I don't want my photos to get super sharp and and HDR looking kasi ayoko kong maging unrealistic siyang tingnan so I think 20 is good and for the texture and the haze hindi na natin siya gagalawin and for the vibrance increase natin yung vibrance for about 440 and then konting saturation lang ayan so we will go now here for the curves so dito sa curves hindi na natin gagalawin tong uh, RGB panels here. Instead, we go to the red panels, the green, and the blue. So, yung gagawin natin dito, maglalagay tayo ng 3 points here. And this one, and this is the blacks, the highlight, at uh, the shadows, the midtones, the highlights, and the whites. So, ganun din yung gagawin natin sa green. And then for the blue. So, ang gagawin natin di dito is to make an S-curve. Yung mga basic S-curves na ginagawa natin yung gi edit And make sure na itong tatlong ito is magkakatulad sila ng S-curves. So, adjust lang natin siya pataas. And then ito. Gawa lang tayo ng S-curve. And also for the greens. And habang in-edit natin ito, kung makikita nyo, nagkakaroon siya ng mga iba-ibang tones while habang ginagalaw natin itong curves. So, kung magiging equal yung mga curves na ginagawa naman natin, is magkakaroon siya ng color contrast. So, mag nagkakaroon ng contrast yung kulay natin. So, ganun yung gagawin natin. Kaya dapat magkakatulad yung curves nila. Ayan. So, kung gusto nyo maging accurate, Pwede nyo namang ilagay ko anong mababa ito. Kung value niya, pwede nyo siyang i-type sa input and sa output. And then, i-type nyo siya dun sa kabila para equally, para equally yung mga curves natin. So, hindi ko na siya masyadong ipa-perfect. So, ayan, ganyan. So, kung makikita nyo yan, ito yung before. And yung before and then this is the after using the curves. Kung makikita nyo, nagkaroon ng contrast yung mga kulay natin dito sa background and sa model Ayan. so the next step here is the sharpening so for the sharpening we need to decrease the sharpening for about 25 and then for the masking we need to go all the way up to 100 so you, as you can see yung mga whites lang dito yun lang yung magsha sharpen sa kanya uh, kapag i-adjust natin itong masking kasi kung hindi natin siya i-adjust the whole image will get sharpened so, para hindi masira yung image natin, only those edges will get sharp if adjust natin to. So, mas okay siya. So, for the noise reduction, hindi na natin siya gagalawin since mababa naman yung ISO natin and wala naman siyang noise. 
so we'll, we will now go straight to the camera calibration so for this uh, camera calibration we just play around with the blues the greens the reds and the shadows so adjust natin tong blue kung makikita nyo na iba yung kulay nya and kung adjust natin siya dito nagiging green siya so for for our case i think i think this one is good and then konting saturation lang and then for the greens konting adjustment lang siguro ayan and then saturation nya and for the reds and the shadows siguro hindi na natin siya gagalawin so we will now go straight to the HSL for color grading or the use, the saturation and the luminance so unahin na natin dito is tong use so start tayo sa red and for the red, adjust natin siya sa left ng konti ng orange, hindi na natin gagalawin and for the yellows, adjust natin siya para hindi lang naman green yung nakikita natin dito and yung green, adjust din natin and also for the aquas itong purples and magentas hindi na natin sya gagalawin kasi hindi naman uh, available yung color nya dito so we'll now go now for the saturation for the saturation naman we'll increase natin yung saturation ng red ng orange so sa green desaturate natin sya sa aquas yung blue saturate din natin yung blue dito para maging white lang yung damit niya ayan so for the luminance naman kung baba natin yung luminance nito and for the orange taas natin so para mag brighten up yung mukha niya and also for the yellows and then itong green babaan natin ng luminance the blues, the aquas ayan so while you're editing here, you can just play around with all the sliders here until you get the colors that you wanted kasi kung gagayahin nyo lang yung nilagay kong settings dito, hindi naman siya um, magiging katulad exactly kung sa ginagamit yung photo so after this we'll go now for the split toning so dito naman sa split toning uh, adjust natin muna yung sa highlights so, punta lang tayo dito sa, sa part ng orange and red. I think, and then, dagdag lang ako ating saturation. And for the shadows, ito lang din. Ayan. So, konting adjustment lang din. So, adjust din natin. Ulit natin ito siguro. Ito sa bandang yellow. Okay? This one is good. Ayan. So, for the balance naman, adjust natin siya para mas lamang yung shadows. So, I think 880 is good. And then, for the optics, please make sure na may check lagi yung remove chromatic aberrations. And then, profile corrections if may nagkakaroon siya ng mga vignette or kung meron ko yung ginagamit na lens specifically. So, for example, Fuji. Ayan, kung halimbawa gumagamit ng Fuji and 55mm, para may correct niya yung mga distortions. So, sa akin naman, wala na. So, okay na to. So, for the vignette naman, or uh, adjust lang natin ng konti. Bawa, tap lang natin ng vignette. Ayan, siguro okay na yan. So, after this, uh, editing uh, punta naman tayo sa photoshop so click lang natin yung open and i-tail lang natin yung photo so the first thing that we need to do here in the photoshop is to duplicate our layer here so just press ctrl j or command j if you're using mac and then we need to make a new adjustment layer so just click on the icon here and just click selective colors so ito sa selective colors we can play around with all the colors here on our photo individually and independently 
um, hindi siya naapektuhan yung ibang kulay niya. So, dito ko ginagawa yung uh, color grading or pag binabago ko yung kulay ng photos. Doon sa photos na gusto ko. So, so, for instance, gusto nyo mabaguhin yung green. Punta ka lang dito sa green tabs and then play around with the, ano, with the sliders here. So, ayan, ganyan. So, in our case, mag-start muna tayo sa red. So, for the reds, uh, bawasan natin ang cyan here. And then, sa magentas. For the yellows, increase natin para maitama natin yung skin tone dito. Ayan. Hindi naging yellowish na siya. So, for the blacks, adjust lang natin, bawasan natin para mag-lighten up. And then, for the yellows, bawasan natin yung cyan here and increase the magenta and kung makikita nyo, nababago na yung kulay niya dito nagiging na siyang maroon or orange oh, kung ano mga kulay yan and for the yellows and then for the blacks and we go now for the green tabs so for the green tabs, increase natin yung cyan and baba natin yung yellows ito natin dito sa 100 para maging blue green leaves niya kasi minsan ayaw ko talaga ng green so ini-edit ko siya dito para mabag ko yung kulay niya so for the magentas increase din natin so we know so pagkatapos niya itong cyan siguro hindi na so after this we need to create a new adjustment layer and another selective color so dito naman imamask out natin yung subject so click nyo lang tong layer mask natin and make sure na yung kulay nya is black pag ginamit mo tong brush tool yung black sya dito sa ibabaw kasi white sya dito eh so imask out lang natin yung subject natin para hindi sya madamay sa adjustment ng colors na gagawin natin so ayan Okay na yan. And then, gawa tayo ng bagong adjustment here. So, simula ulit tayo sa red. Konting adjustment lang. And for the yellows, i-saturate lang natin ng konti. And for the greens, ito yung adjust natin. Ayan, nagiging blue-green na siya. So, the next step here is to create a new adjustment layer and then uh, UN saturation naman. So, dito, pwede natin uh, baguhin din yung saturation sa new eh, so we can play around with the colors. Ayan, makikita nyo ngayon, nababago yung kulay niya. So, ang gagawin natin dito is we'll go for the reds. So, sa red, adjust lang natin saturation ng konti. And also for the yellows. And then for the gray naman, buhin natin yung kulay dito. Para maging blue-green siya. Ayan. So, for the saturation, konti lang po. Dito naman sa cyan, siguro... I think this one and then saturate natin ng konti yun okay na yan so the next step here is brightness and contrast dito konting adjustment lang para mag iwanag lang yung photo Ayan. and then we'll go now for the curves ito naman type lang natin dito the input is 20 and then just go all the way up until dun sa linya para magkaroon siya ng uh, faded effect dun sa photos natin so I think this one is good so the next step is the cha channel mixer so dito adjust lang natin yung blue para, ma para magkaroon siya ng konting cool tone 
siguro okay na yun. And then, um, the next step here is to create a new layer and then click edit and then fill and make sure na ito ay 50% gray, the mode is normal and the opacity is 100%. So, and we need to change the blending mode from normal to overlay. Ang gagawin naman natin dito is some dodge and burn. Ah, ito. Dodge and burn. So, unahin na natin yung burn tool. So, and make sure na yung range natin dito is mid-tones. The exposure is 10%. So, uh, padidilimin lang natin yung some portions of the background. Like this one... And then ito, also this one, and this one. And then the next one naman is dodge tool. So gagamitin naman natin ito is sa kanyang face. So ayan, konting adjustment lang. para lumiwanan yung face na. Kung makikita nyo, ayan. So, konting adjustment pa sa uh, burn tool. Lagyan naman natin sa mukha niya. step here is to group the layers here so we need to highlight these layers and then press ctrl G or command G if you're using map so we can see the overall before and after of this photo so this is the before and then this is the after so, yeah. so, so as you can see here na bago entirely yung cooling ng background natin yung leaves and everything so yeah kasi minsan ayoko ng green sa photos ko so binabago ko talaga siya para lang maiba para hindi siya normal tingnan so yeah and then i-flatten natin yung image niya kung okay na siya and wala ka nang babaguhin so ayun so before we end this video you can follow me on my instagram so this is my instagram and you can check my works here I'll put them in the description or you can follow me on my facebook page and this is my facebook page and I'm posting here all of my updates, my sets, my photos, before and afters, and everything. So, yeah. So, that's it. So, I really hope you guys enjoy watching and learn something from this tutorial. And let me know guys what you think in the comments. And again, thank you guys again for watching and stay safe.